Hello, Aquarius and Scorpio. Welcome to your exact match. Zodiac sign, compatibility, love, tarot reading, which means I'm going to be reading for your Zodiac sign, match specifically with your love interest sign. So you know what? If you are an Aquarius dealing with a Scorpio or a Scorpio dealing with an Aquarius, we're going to be reading for you today so that you know what's going on in the mind of your significant other, love interest, crush, what have you. Just whomever it is that you're thinking about when you're watching this video, that's whom we're reading for, okay? So you don't have to be married for this to apply to you. You could just have a crush. You could just have interest in someone. You could be living with someone engaged in a relationship, long term or short term. The fact of the matter is, if you're an Aquarius or if you're a Scorpio and you're dealing with each of these signs, then this reading is for you. This will give you more of a like a personal reading, personal style approach, which is what I really love doing. So if you can, please, I beg of you, please subscribe so that I know that you want more of these and I can keep doing more and more and more of these. OK, it's your subscription that's going to tell me that I need to keep doing more and doing this style because th this style doesn't exist elsewhere on YouTube. Like most tarot readers will give you just Aquarius, just Scorpio, and they won't tell you what's going on with the person that you're dealing with. Okay. So let's get started. Um, keep in mind though, that like not every reading will resonate with everybody. This is still tarot and tarot is about storytelling and it cannot apply to every single person out there or every single sign out there, but this will come as accurately as possible to you and your person. So Aquarius wants to say to Scorpio, ooh, thankfully, nice energy. I just did Aquarius Libra and that was very heavy energy. This is a much better energy coming from Aquarius to Scorpio. And um, Scorpio, what are you saying to Aquarius? Hmm. I'm feeling really nice. Scorpio, what happened? You have a five of cups, Scorpio. What's going on? What's going on? Let's see. And the lovers. Okay. So it's it, like, it's not like as terrible as I feared, you know, like it's like basically what's happening with Scorpio is like, it's personal. Like there's, there is like a goal that Scorpio was trying to reach recently um, didn't, didn't come through as much, but Scorpio has, you know, this thought of Aquarius to keep Scorpio going. Scorpio loves Aquarius. Yes. The feelings are strong there, Scorpio. That's what the cards are saying anyway. And Scorpio feels like, you know what? I can really talk to someone about like what has hurt me. Like I can talk to Aquarius about what has hurt me. And that's what you do, you know, in a relationship. And if you're not in a relationship, it seems like Aquarius brings a sense of happiness and a promise of like a long-term, you know, friendship, relationship, marriage situation with Scorpio. Like Aquarius is seeming like, hey, you know, you can count on me. Um, Aquarius may be the source of new opportunity for Scorpio. So you guys might work together in some, some way, shape or form. You might actually be colleagues really. Yeah, you might, um, you might have met at work or in the workplace or something of that sort. You might know each other through family members, family, friends. Um, the way you met has a lot to do with family connection, like an organizational connection somehow because of this 10 of cups. That's what I'm reading from the energy. And then, um, <clears throat> Aquarius wants to say something. It seems like Aquarius wants to tell something to Scorpio and kind of clarify the truth about something with this ace of swords here. Aquarius is trying to clarify the truth about something that has happened recently. Nothing that's like, you know, the biggest deal, but, you know, definitely finding out the truth about something or getting something off Aquarius's chest is, is here. Um, Scorpio will be sad if that truth is something that doesn't, that bring, you know, like harmonious energy between the two. So, if it's not already happened, just kind of, you know, keep in mind that what we say and how we say it matters. 
Scorpio is like zaddy over here. Scorpio is giving off energy of confidence, um, of, you know, look, I may have these anxieties with the moon card, but <clears throat> look at that beautiful praying, hoping, wishing for a good outcome in whatever it is that you're working on. Scorpio, you're working on something. Yeah. Oh, look at this. A new love. Ooh, we, wow. Lots of love coming from Scorpio. You are really present here with these, um, <clears throat> with this water energy because Scorpio, your, your water sign, right? So all these cups are cups of emotion and, you know, love energy. This is, oh man, explosive energy as well. This is indicating to me, giving me this energy of like just explosive sexual energy, especially with this King of Wands. Like when you see Aquarius, it's like an explosive connection you have with Aquarius and definitely sexually as well. Um, <clears throat> let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Like Aquarius, how are you vibrating? Yeah. You're being strong and you know, you're thinking about marriage. You may already be married, um, whether to each other or to someone else. Um, the point of the matter is that the Hierophant card is showing up and okay. Even if Aquarius is married to someone else, there's divorce on the table because Aquarius, I think has eyes for Scorpio. Um, this, I mean, for you to really be getting the eight of cups and the six of swords, like there's something that you're leaving behind Aquarius. And, um, that something could be, you're turning your back on something. Um, maybe it's your job actually, because you have an ace of pentacles here, um, which could indicate a new opportunity at work, career, something of that sort. What else Aquarius are you saying? Ah, you're seeking your happiness darling. It's keeping you up at night. So something toxic is happening at your job, at your place of work, not necessarily in the home. Like, I think you guys are working on, on something separately and then you come to each other for solace. Like <laughs> I see you guys kind of like almost, you know, gossiping, <laughs> like coming back, like to each other after like a hard day and like gossiping about like, oh God, you know, such and such said this, such and such said that. And, you know, giving each other counsel and comfort and advice, which is, you know, fun. You know, I think that's kind of the fun of fun of it. And I really find it really interesting that Aquarius has the sun card and Scorpio has the star card. You are each other's world. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like you create a world for each other and you get into that world. Like it's enclosed. It's like literally just the two of you. When you guys talk, like when you guys hit it off, your chemistry is amazing. That's the energy I'm feeling. Like when you have the opportunity to have things go well between the two of you, the chemistry is just like off the charts. And the reason it's off the charts and the reason it amuses me is because you two act like there's nobody else around. When you two get together, you act like it's just the two of you. And that's hilarious. Like you literally form a galaxy of your own with this sun card here and this star card here. You form a world of your own where nobody and nothing else matters. Where you get upset and where you get sad and feel like turning your back, I don't feel in this particular reading that it's on each other. I feel like you turn your back on literally like other people or other values that don't serve you. Like this is, you know, about tradition, value, following protocol. It's also about marriage, but I do feel like in this energy, because of the love that I am picking up or the like or the attraction and the passion and the sexual energy and tension that I'm feeling between Aquarius and Scorpio, I do feel like whatever it is that makes you guys, you know, tense is not necessarily coming from the two of you. It's coming from like outside of the two of you, do you know? And that's common, like that happens, but I do like that when you're able to connect, when you're able to talk, you form the sun and the star together. You form a galaxy of your own, your own sort of world. I think that's cute. What else can we say, Scorpio? So again, there's something burdening you right now. 
even if you turn to Aquarius to talk about it, it's something that you're going to have to deal with on your own. It has probably a lot to do with money and finances. It's something that you have to be strong about. You two are strong together because you're getting the strength at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio. And Aquarius is getting the strength card too. So it's like you guys find strength in each other and it's something that you rely on each other for sometimes. Um, even if it's not yet a long-term relationship, it's heading there. Because this Ten of Cups speaks about longevity. See that Ten over there? The Ten of Cups speaks of longevity. You make each other happy um, when you do get together. Um, and if you're already in a long-term relationship, it's something that could lead to marriage. If you're already married, just married is something that could lead to family. Look, there's a lot of talk of that, you know, going around. But first, Scorpio has to go inward. You see this Hermit card. Scorpio has to go inward and be strong and deal with something that's challenging each of you individually and together. Okay, I think it's individually like you have your own issues to talk about individually, even if you come together in this like lovers situation. Lovers is like a union of two people, um, whether romantic or not. It's just like a very strong chemistry. Even if you talk to each other about your problems, it's something that you are dealing with um, alone. And as adults, you know, um, wow, look at that Queen of Cups again, and then work showing up with this Eight of Pentacles. So it's like, this is giving me the vibe of a split situation here where it's like, on the one hand, you, you come to your Scorpio or you come to your, your Aquarius and it feels amazing when you two are together. On the other hand, when you go outside of that and you have to work it's burdensome and gives you trouble and sleepless nights. See, yeah, whenever you work and um, deal with other people, it's crap. It's fighting. It's this five of wands card. It's passion and heated, you know, arguments and not seeing eye to eye in your place of work or in your business or something to do with outside of the relationship. Well, let's see what then the outcome will be between the two of you. What's the outcome here? What are we looking at in the short term outcome? Okay, so Scorpio might be feeling a little left out sometimes because something is going to take off for Aquarius. It's possibly a new job or an opportunity that's going to take a lot of Aquarius's time. I mean, Scorpio is going to be happy for Aquarius, but Scorpio is going to feel that absence and be confused about like, okay, well, where is this going? I need to know, you know, can you give me more information? Scorpio might choose to be single or deal with things independently. Um, but, you know, let's see how Aquarius will respond to that. If Aquarius will do anything to kind of appease um, Scorpio and relieve any potential conflict that may happen as a result of this new opportunity that's coming to Aquarius. Because I do see like a new job, you know, Aquarius is going to start a new job, a new opportunity that's coming down the line. I do see that. And it's something Aquarius will have to do because it makes Aquarius what? Happy. So Aquarius, how are you going to respond to, um, well, this, these came out together. Let me shuff, shuffle again. How are you going to respond to Scorpio? In that situation when you've gotten your new job oh, god you really cannot bamboozle this tarot tarot will do what tarot wants to do you saw me shuffle and it came out again nine of pentacles nine of pentacles so it's really telling me that there is a possibility here that the two of you will end up independent from each other you know just doing your own thing you might be single. I don't, I cannot predict a breakup because single does not mean breakup. Um, the hermit card means that both of you might go inward apart from each other. Look, you might be feeling a little left out because both of you are going to pursue opportunities. You have the four of cups, you're gazing and distracted, not looking at what's in front of you. So both of you have opportunities that are coming to you and they're quite big. And so it is understandable, right? It is understandable that you might have to look away from each other and do things independently. The fact that you guys are getting this 
nine of pentacles, which is an independent card, tells me that, yeah, the universe is like, yeah, you are going to have to do things independently, but it doesn't take away from your connection. It just means that sometimes, look, we can't just be in love, 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 love right? We have to get our finances together. We have to, you know, do some self-development, some self-work, you know, pursue new opportunities. See that Ace of Pentacles, pursue, you know, working with other people. You know, we cannot be lost in a bubble, which Aquarius and Scorpio tend to be in this connection. You guys, you get together and you forget what's going on. <laughs> you know, you're so like, you're enamored with each other. You know, you're very sexually attracted to each other as well. So... I think the universe is just pointing out that like when this new opportunity comes, yeah, Aquarius will be dealing with other people at the job, you know, and, you know, dealing with finances and things like that and career, because that's how you sustain a relationship anyway. That's how you sustain this lover's card. You can't just sustain love just by, you know, sitting around looking at each other and, you know, having sex with each other all day or flirting with each other all day. No, I mean, there's got to be some work done, right? So that's essentially what the outcome is. Um, let me just do some quick advice. Quick advice from the universe. Yeah. The Knight of Swords, be prepared for what is coming very swiftly because it'll come and it'll challenge your relationship. It'll challenge the way that you see your world, okay? It'll challenge the way that you see things around you. Um, Aquarius, um, don't be heartbroken if you get opportunities, um, if opportunities that you're applying for don't come through, okay? It's not the end of the world. There is hope. There is, you know, a chance for a new beginning. See, with this full card, um, the universe is saying, if you get heartbreak, don't think too much about it. Because right after one door closes, guess what? Another one opens. You see this? Right after whatever happens with, you know, what you think is heartbreak, you're going to get a new opportunity. You're going to reign over that opportunity. It's going to be a new beginning. Leap of faith, the full, and you're going to be fruitful. You see this? This is very, very, very lucrative. So there's a lucrative opportunity here, guys. I feel it's, you know, specifically for Aquarius. Like Aquarius, you're definitely coming into a new job or new opportunity. Um, Scorpio may already have something lined up. Um, but both of you are definitely going to be working on yourselves, which is so great for any relationship. Believe me, it's so great when you work on yourself and then you can come when you talk to each other, you'll have something to talk about, right? Which is what you guys enjoy the most about this relationship. So very interesting read. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so I can do more of these reads. Um, this is a brand new channel. So all the subscriptions help me know that I need to keep doing more of these reads and keep, you know, giving you guys the content that you need, um, from your tarot. Um, and it's been really, really good reading for you. I cannot wait. I'm so nosy. I cannot wait to read again, honestly, to figure out where this goes. Have a great, great one. And again, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.